First short recap of the story. Later is an adventure died in a dungeon, now reborn as a skeleton, evolving into a stronger and stronger being and coming near his dream of getting a mythical class adventure in the future, which wasn't possible before. Chapter 40.3 You really evolved from a ghoul to a vampire. Indeed. Then, with the help of someone I know, I have become able to walk around even during the day. Until now, I've mostly limited my activities to the night. That's why we couldn't meet. Plus, I was afraid you would get in trouble due to my situation before. Well, like I said before, I was worried about you. In fact, all chewed me out because of my immaturity. But if I had a deep line on Renzan, then I don't think I would have gone. I see. Is your adventure work going well? Yes, I haven't had any trouble so far. Come to think of it, I joined my first party the other day. They were the same age as mine, but they were very liable. I was nervous at first, but we got along and we still keep in touch. They are named Raisu Khan and Lola Chan. Raisu and Lola? Are they up here with us workmen? In a magic hand. Ah, so it was you after all. Huh? They said they did the coppering promotion exam with a very experienced person. They told me that they were helped by the kind rent weaver. Those two came up with such an old description. The kind rent weaver. <laughs> the name was a bit different, but when I heard I knew it was you, Renzan. Speaking of different names, there was a knight named Idris looking for a girl named Lina Luge. So, Prada is here in Maruto? You changed your name to Lupage, so I pretended I didn't know you. He asked me where you were staying. But, no, it's fine. It's not like I'm being chased. Rather, they sent me to this town because they cared about my future. That's why I can't see them now. I want to be a full-fledged adventurer when I can meet my brother again. And then I will also like to thank you again. I see. But he was worried about you. Can't you keep in touch with him? I don't think that's possible. Huh. Well, it's because Prada has a terrible sense of direction. Ah, uh, there is. It's really worrisome, since it's hard to get in touch with him when he's around moving. Because he's from the first order of knights, he's strong and all... But if he goes outside the local area, the people around us have always had a hard time searching for him. You have no idea how often he got lost when back when we were kids. I see. And when we went to the address it has given me before, he was already gone. See, I told you. Come to think of it. I was entrusted with this letter addressed to Lina Lodge. What it says. I will see you again when you have become fully fledged. See you later. After that, Lina and I parted ways. I went to the guild and talked with the guild masters about my double resignation. And then I told him about the vampire red. The Earth Dragon and the Great Wave. The Guildmaster accepted the situation and my response to it. Then I told the later family that I wouldn't be able to supply them Dragon Blood Flowers for a while. 
Yes, I don't mind. I would appreciate it if you could continue when you come back. In the meantime, I will leave it to Isaac again. Rentzan. Here are the documents you ask for. Ah, thank you. That was fast. I've heard that the archives of the later family are extensive. I had them prepared in advance. The later family is always receiving information from the countries of Riala and Maruto. As we have the ability to remember all that we hear, that is how I've heard various things for my trip. Ah! Oh, sh- Whoosh! Shack! Whoosh! Whoosh! Come on! Sis! Phew! Although it was only a request from the village restoration, these zombies are different from those that we had existed the past decades. I hope this is not an indication of trouble to come. To be continued. Thank you for listening to chapter 40.3. I hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe, comment. Would be nice. And thank you for listening. And see you next week. And bye bye.